so far. Again, I hope that you are adding to your quiet times through this episode of Deep Roots and not making this your quiet time as the intent of this is to dig deep roots in your relationship with God. I want us to take this week to talk about something very important and that is fruit. Can you imagine walking up to your favorite fruit tree? Maybe it's mango, maybe it's apples, cherries, there are a lot of fruit trees, but you walk up and there is no fruit. And there's supposed to be fruit. How frustrating would that be? Or imagine you plant an apple tree and you wait for years and years and years and then it turns out to be an orange tree or worse yet, a durian tree. Imagine how you would feel in that moment. The scriptures talk about fruit all the time. In Matthew chapter seven, an incredible scripture about producing fruit. And in verse 16, The Bible says, verse 15, watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but in really they're ferocious wolves. By their fruit, you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes and figs from thistles? Likewise, every good tree bears good fruit, but a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot bear fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown to the fire. Thus, by their fruit, you will recognize them. The way you know what type of a tree it is, is by eating the fruit of it. A mango tree literally cannot produce apples. It is impossible. And an orange tree, it is impossible for an orange tree to produce even pomelo. Something is very similar. Jesus says here that you can tell what's inside someone by what comes out of them. So much of religiosity today is, be, is based on taking people at just face value, that if they tell you that they're Christians, well, you gotta believe it. And if they are in sin or they live just like the world, then somehow you've wronged them by, by believing that the fruit doesn't match up with what they claim. But actually Jesus taught by the fruit that you produce in your life, people will recognize you. What kind of fruit are you producing in your life? It shows you who you are on the inside. And so as we develop deep roots in our relationship with God, let us understand that those roots should be producing inside of us good fruit that comes from being a good tree. And so this week, I'm excited that we're going to go through the fruit of the Spirit. But but for today, good fruit comes from a good tree. What type of fruit are you producing? Have a great day.